What's going on guys, it's Zotusman, and I have a build to show you that I just finished creating. Uh, this is an elevator that goes both up and down, made out of pistons. I'm pretty fucking proud of this. Somebody commented on one of my videos and asked me to build and do a tutorial of one, and I figured, you know what, that sounds like a fun task. I've seen piston elevators of all different types, I suppose, and... I haven't seen one that goes down, so that was probably the biggest hurdle to overcome, but I did it with brute force. I will give you a tutorial soon, but I'm just going to demonstrate for now. Bing bong, 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 bing bong. And I'm up in my little, you know, demonstrable house and shit that you can put up here, whatever the hell you do with it. And then, oh, you want to go down? I'll well, just step in here. And then bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Yep, so basically that's it. And uh, the idea here is I'll give you a flight through it. You get pushed up one, and then over one, and then pushed up one, and over one, pushed up one, and over one. Pushed up one, over one, you get the picture for that. And then coming down, you get pushed over one, and you just fall down into an already collapsed floor, floor and then push down another, and another, and another, and another, and another. Now it takes uh, 0.8 seconds per block of height gain to go up. As you could tell, uh, it's a little slower going up. About 0.8 seconds per level, but going down, it's like 0.4, half the time to go down, because you don't have to have the two-step mechanism to push yourself up and over. But I'll give you a, a simple view of how the uh, structure of this works. Uh, input source comes in, powers the first block, which immediately after, uh, a 0.4 second delay powers the next block then comes over and powers the up block to push you up one more but then that loop is also going through with a three delay and then that comes up and powers the next block to push you over then it still goes through with another delay the next block to push you up then another delay of, of 0.4 with the next block to push you over and you get the picture of how this is working it goes in a spiral up the entire thing and then you kind of got to modify it for the last block to push you out on the ground level because that's the way that it enables you to uh, go down smoothly. But then when you push this button to go down, all of the uh, pistons that brought you up are already collapsed. So that button is going to power this source which comes through and powers the block right here that pushes you out the first time. And then it goes through another series of 0.4 tick delays. Uh, all of these blocks that push you out are hidden because these are uh, redstone wire running on top of a block makes it a source of power. So all of the pistons that push you out are behind these blocks in succession. But still, you're going to follow a loop all the way down and you got to be careful not to cross wires and whatnot. And that is how it's going to work. This can obviously be cleaned up, hidden fairly easily. But uh, I will show you the tutorial for this soon. Just figured I'd show you how it works. So one more time, we'll just show you what's going on here. And then going down. So yeah, go ahead and uh, leave me a like or an unlike if you didn't like it. And maybe a comment, maybe a subscription for more videos. Uh, that is all. Tutorial coming soon. Peace.